student, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about chapter 6, Simple Cell. Okay, so we, we, we know we already learned, um, one is called chemical cell, um, simple chemical cell. Another one we learned is um, yeah, electrolysis. Okay, this one is you need to know the difference. I mean, what is the difference? The difference is for simple chemical cell is using chemical energy to convert it to electric energy. And for electrolysis is using electric to convert it to chemical energy. So we can see that always in the middle is the battery in almost in every electrolysis, correct or not? Because in the electrolysis, we can see that got battery, got battery at the wire means is electrolysis. Just in case you confuse lah, got battery in the wire means electrolysis. Um, some more got a lot of example got battery in the wire means electrolysis, and some more up lah. Anything that got electric on the wire, like I mean like battery la, in the wire, you, 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 it's not possible, I mean it is not necessarily to use battery, like see uh, you, you use battery in the middle means you are electrolysis, but sometimes you don't use battery because you can use your house electric, also can, if you, if you want to, just make sure, um, Make sure you people don't die lah. So um, and then when we are talking about simple cell, we are talking about chemical to electric. So we can see, usually they put voltmeter in the middle because um, voltmeter to show electric because you cannot see the electric. You don't use your hand and touch. Ouch! Oh, got electric. You need to see either you want to use voltmeter or ammeter up. Up to you, up to you. Both also can. Now this device is very high tech already. I got something like, like this. It got A and V, so the device can actually measure ampere and voltmeter. I buy sixty ringgit from a city TV shop. So, yep, yeah, haven't do the experiment. I miss doing experiment with my student. If if not COVID nineteen, I hopefully I'll be doing experiment. Okay, so now electrolysis, chemical cell, at least we know the difference. Since we are talking about simple chemical cell, we want to use chemical to make electric. And what is the criteria? One of the criteria is use two different type of metal. So again, we use magnesium and copper. Up to you lah. You want to use other metal, up to you also can. Okay, and um, sodium chloride. Okay. When to use sodium chloride to to make it. The reason we don't want to use water because you can use water if you want to, but sodium chloride is better because sodium chloride is more prone to connect the electric. I mean, it will be a better conductor to conduct the electric. It's a very better electric conductor. Like most metal is an electric conductor, like. And this one is a uh, electric conductor. Um, this keyboard is not because it's plastic, so this is not a conductor. So, water. Sometimes water is a conductor. Hey, very good lah. Water is not conductor. If water is not a conductor, try go to the toilet, wash your hand, wet wet, and try to touch the switch. See the water is a conductor or not. And of course, is you know, like that's why we don't say if your hand is wet, don't touch the switch. Because water also is the electric conductor. It might not be that strong, but it is still the conductor. And to make it better, you use sodium chloride. You put a salt lah. Sodium chloride can put a salt, and it makes a better electric conductor. So that why? So you can easier see lah. Okay, you don't produce very high volt lah. This one is you do in the school laboratory. So you produce electric, you touch also, you won't die. So 
So you 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 make sure you just take a better conductor lah, huh? Take a better conductor. Okay, so what they do is they put a uh, 150 cm one mole of sodium chloride, and then you put voltmeter and you measure the reading. So some will be high, some will be low. Assuming two four six two four uh, 246 volt lah, let's say lah. Huh? Let's say I assume lah because we didn't do the experiment. Let's say the exam they give you 246 volt. Which one you want to put inside? How you want to know which one has higher, which one lower? This one sure is zero already lah. Huh? Confirm lah. Because it's magnesium, magnesium ma, zero volt. Copper and copper, zero volt. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is different question. Magnesium, copper, let's say give him um, two volt lah. Okay, so this will be the answer. Up to you lah, you want to put 2 volt, you want to put 4 volt, you want to put 6 volt. Um, up to you lah. I think 2 volt should be enough lah. Huh? Because, because I think the battery you buy is uh, 1.5 volt lah. Like, I mean your phone battery you remember or not, power bank, if you got power bank, 2 ampere, 5 volt. So it should be around 5 volt should be enough. We don't want to put too many wood lah. If you put 240 wood, then you, you then the teacher will give you wrong. Because 200 wood is your switch. I cannot find a switch. The, the, the house switch, ah, one switch in Malaysia is 240 wood. If you put the pen in, finger inside, you might die. So obviously, we want to give the answer in a, in a proper term. So we just say 2 wood, 1.5, 2 wood, like a battery, okay, like a battery. 5 wood also a lot already. Oh. Sometimes the power bank also can suck people, right? Okay. Application of chemical cells. So, okay, now I know already. Do what? Oh. I know, uh, I know how to make electric already. So I do, I do what? Um, of course, many things that we can do and we can even use fruit and sea water. Let's say I cannot buy from Lazada because I cannot buy from Shopee because my mother say don't waste money. So you ask from your mommy, uh, mommy you got, hey, he didn't say, uh, you can use potato orange to, to um, generate electric and so of course you can use fruit to make electric Let's say this guy, he want to use orange. So of course you want to use um, a few orange now because one orange might not enough. The more orange you use, the more battery you get, the more power. So let's say lah, maybe here is uh, 0 0.1 watt and here is 0 0.1 watt. 0 0.1 watt. Okay, what is this? 0 0.1 watt, 0 0.1 watt, 0 0.1 watt. So you eventually you get 0 0.3 watt enough to turn on this LED. But of course, no people want to do that lah. You want to make three orange better. You go speed mark, buy battery. This one already one ringgit, one ringgit, one ringgit, three ringgit already. You buy one battery, one ringgit in DIY give you four battery. So it, it doesn't make sense. But just for the sake of experiment you can use fruit and seawater to make electric energy okay we can generate electric energy so this is a uh, stem stem is science technology um, e is what like engineering and maths is it stem so uh, this is what the government do try to let you think more so yeah what is a simple chemical cell so the page answer is at page 192. A simple cell is made out of two different metal immersed into electrolyte and connected to the circuit of connecting wire. I mean the important point, okay? Two different metal, two different metal immersed in an electrolyte. Um, yeah, that is the keyword like, to produce electric properly, I would say. Okay, to produce uh, electric. Or electron I would say to produce electric line because make more sense ma huh? simple cell is two different of metal immersed into an electrolyte to produce electric uh, draw and label the simple chemical cell 
This is what I think exam will ask usually. You need to draw and level, then they will ask question from you. So you just draw a very easy two mark question. So you just uh, simply draw. Maybe uh, you don't draw like the picture that I show you. Like you draw the orange. Draw. Just simply draw like maybe arrow should be enough already. Maybe you draw like this, um, like this, and then you um, like this. Like this a simple one will do and uh, let just draw the electrolyte so two electrodes immerse into an electrolyte just make sure it looks like water mm. and then let's say the, the question asks us to label so you just use two different methods maybe I just put zinc and copper zinc and copper that's it or maybe this one I put copper CuSO4, copper sulfate solution. Um, yeah, so that's it. Of course, you draw nicely, lah. don't draw like me. So the question usually no ask you. Now, okay, you finish draw already. How you know which one is positive and negative? How you know it's positive and negative? So we can see from here, zinc and copper, which one is more negative? So we look at the picture that we have. The higher is it, the negative. So copper is copper down, uh, copper and what lah just now we use copper and zinc is it? So zinc will be the negative, copper will be the positive. Means the upper is it the more negative? I mean the terminal is negative lah, not the more negative. But because the question asks the negative terminal, so the negative terminal will be the zinc. The positive terminal will be the copper. Why? Let's say the question asks why? Because zinc is above copper in electrochemical series. Because it's up la. Uh, easy to say it's up, but you don't get marks because you just say up. Yes, you need to say zinc is above copper in electrochemical series. Then they won't ask you, okay? They might ask you again why 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 zinc up? Then maybe they want you go to university and learn. But so far, it should be enough. Why? Because zinc is above copper in electrochemical series. The next question, this one you didn't write. Draw the flow of electron. So I should draw flow from electron from zinc to copper or copper to zinc. Uh, okay, flow from zinc negative to copper. So I put here flow of electron. But I don't think they will ask you the flow of current. If the question asks you the flow of current, it will be from copper to zinc. So um, it depends on the question, but I think the question won't ask you. Okay, so that's it. We already come to an end for this chapter. So as a summary, yeah, I hope that you understand this. In the whole summary, we only learn two things on it. One is the electrolyte cell, one is the chemical cell. Electrolyte cell is to use electric to make chemical energy. Electric turn to make chemical, chemical want to make electric. That's why you use orange to make electric, not electric make orange. Because that ele orange make electric is the chemical cell and battery to make anything lah. you use the battery to make something then we call it an electrode cell uh, then you need again chemical cell you need to use two different type of metal and for this one i not cathode cation will be the electric source okay so the electrolysis product of electrolysis uh, for example of it depends on the Thing that uh, this one I just skip lah. No need to explain lah. Not important. Application industry you need to know why you want to use electrolyte. Okay, for the extraction of metal, maybe you want to get um uh, um cop um sodium iron uh sodium potassium. You need to use aluminium. You want to use electrolyte. Now the aluminium in your house. If you don't want, then how you are going to make aluminium window in your house because when you get it's just a stone you want to use the stone and do electrolysis to make it the aluminium 
and for chemical cell of course chemical cell is like battery so this is for phone you can make chemical cell so that you can use it for the phone okay so i will teach until here we got exercise so i'm going to continue the exercise in the next video so thank you very much see you again and bye bye